Damn. What's going on, guys? Oregon Motorcycle back here with another episode. And today we are at the Oregon uh, Safety Course training course. This is where you get your license. Um, or it's not where you get your license, it's where you train to get your license. And um, yeah, so we're just here, just starting out. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you um, what we're doing and what the test consists of. And uh, so right here, this is my bike. They let you pick the bikes, basically. I got a GZ250 that was all beat to hell with way. hardly any clutch in it. But yeah, overall, this whole course it was, it was fun and uh, entertaining. And uh, yeah, you, there's a lot to learn if you're, uh, you know, just starting out on a motorcycle. So here we go. All right, should we start our official time? Yeah. You want to read or you want me to? exercise you will ride around the perimeter and weave between the cones so begin riding around the perimeter to the left in second gear when you reach the far side of the cone of the range begin weaving between the cones right to the right of the first cone left of the second and so on right through the gates at the end of the range and then continue on to the other side. Remember to keep your head and eyes up, looking where you want to go, not down at the poles. Any questions? So you'll ride around through the gate and then start your weave on that side. Weave. Any other questions? Keep your head up, keep looking straight ahead. So yeah, the first exercise here just consists of kind of going around in this oval shape around the parking lot and you're just weaving in and out of some cones that are spaced far apart and in line. Um, 
nothing like the cone weave that we'll be doing later in the video but um, this is just kind of to get you warmed up and kind of shaking us down and seeing if we can handle the bike around something simpler you know simple like this uh, but it was a great exercise and got you comfortable with the bike All right, so in this exercise, we're going to practice stopping the bike. Uh, they're going to have us get up to about 15 miles an hour in second gear and then bring the bike to a complete stop at a, cone, a, de at a designated cone. And then they increase the speed to 20 miles an hour if we want. Um, th th this is uh, an area where they really critique you. Um, you know, the lady Leslie here, the instructor, she was really great and she was critiquing me like every time and I was just trying to get it right, 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 you know, so you'll see here. Jesus Christ, this clutch. I know, I, I'm... Dirt bike rider. No. no. No? So, four fingers on the brakes. You want to keep both feet, uh, both hands, using both brakes all the way until you stop. I'm still trying to get used to these pegs. I ride a street, a uh, crotch rocket, so oh, it's okay. really yeah, weird it's to different. put my feet forward. Yeah. I'll get it. Uh, you will, So, but keep your foot on the brake until you actually come to your left is the first foot to go down when you stop. Okay? So, you want my shift side to go down first? Because you will have already shifted as you brake. Okay. And you want to stay on both brakes for a better stop. Four fingers. <laughs> I'll try. Hands on the throttle now. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, um, during the whole the whole class, you have to have four fingers on the clutch the whole time you're riding, which was kind of hard to get used to. And then they want you to either be on the brake or on the throttle. You can't be on the throttle and on the front brake at the same time. And of course, you have to have four fingers on the front brake too that's so that took a little bit bike, getting used to make it more perfect is if you could get those two oh, fingers on that brake lever what for me telling me i'm trying to break these habits get man the dirt bike i'm trying on the road good job thanks better yeah no keep it at 20. was i going faster uh, i think so okay and when you're riding around here you don't need to raise Make okay. other people and it kind of intimidates some of lesser okay. experienced riders. Okay. Sorry. Great. Thank you. Remember to keep your hand on the throttle until you actually need a break. So was okay. I coasting? I was coasting a minute? Yeah, I was probably a little Quite trying to prepare for it. Yeah. Um, All right. We're simulating something stops in your path and you have an emergency break. That's the surprise in your path. Ah, wrong foot. <laughs> Did you downshift? Yeah, it's downshifted, but I put the wrong foot down first. So I'm going to start telling you now what I'm doing wrong. Nice work, Michael. Just include those for me again next time if you can. I will. Boom, all four, all hey, four. I just did it three times in a row with her, so. Oh, what, am I top I, I don't know. I guess so, man. All right, so after a 15 minute break, um, we're starting our next exercise, which this one I believe is making a stop in a curve. So they want you to take this curve and then they're gonna throw up their arms at any given point and they want you to stand the bike upright and apply the brakes as fast as you possibly can, of course, without crashing. Uh, this is a fun exercise to do, it's pretty simple. So, uh, anyways.
Nope. Okay. Right of the first cone, left of the second cone, and so on. Weave between the cones. All right, so this exercise was probably the most challenging, but also uh, had the most fun on this exercise. This is the slow maneuvering uh, where you go through the cones that are offset, they're not in a straight line. Um, so yeah, it was it was a lot of fun, and the bike I was on was just super stable. It felt like I could stop the bike and just keep my feet up on the pegs. It was kind of weird, but um, yeah. Anyways, a lot of fun uh, and good practice. And this is actually the first um, test that you'll be tested on um, during the test, which you guys are going to see here shortly. Yeah, so after you go through the cones, weaving through that, there's a sharp 90 degree turn right after the end, and that's where the instructors are standing to help you go through the 90 degree turn. The 90 degree turn is not that hard. Um, you know, the bike follows your head just like they tell you. It's, it's like magic. Okay, so now we're going to be doing the swerve test, which uh, basically you bring the bike up to 15 miles an hour in second gear and you go through two gates and then they have like an imaginary line there that you swerve and then slow down after the swerve. Uh, it's pretty simple. And then um, after a couple of them, they increase the speed to 20 miles an hour and they move the cones closer. All right, so here we go. Here's the first uh, two tests. They put the first two tests together, so you can do two you know, on the same run. The thing is, is they do one rider at a time, so everybody in the class gets to watch you, which, I don't know, if you're intimidated by that, that might bug you a little bit, but I don't care. Um, I, I'll admit, you know, on the first part here, I was a little bit nervous, but after going through the cone weave here, it was, it was fine. This was probably the most difficult part for me anyways, but at the same time, it was really fun to do on this bike. So as you can see, I had no problems and I didn't hit any cones. And then you come around and do the swerve test. And then you gotta shut off your bike. Don't forget to shut off your bike. They're waiting for you to shut the bike off so they can continue. Okay, so on this test, um, pretty basic. You upshift to second gear. You get up to 15 miles an hour 
and apply your brakes when the front tire reaches the stopping cone. Pretty simple, but again, a lot of people had to redo this. Alright, so in this test, this is a cornering skills test. Uh, they want you to go around these two positioning cones and get set up for a corner they have set up over there where the two instructors are standing right now. And they want you to um, shift to second gear, get approximately 50 miles an hour, and then take the corner at a safe speed. But they want you to apply the brakes first and then roll the throttle on through the curve. And at the same time, apex the curve. You're getting graded on all three of those points. So, again, this one is pretty simple. Alright, here's the last test. Will I pass? It's a little tight turn, that's all you gotta do. And then we'll go back to the staging area and we're gonna find out our results. So on this test you're being graded on head position and of course bike position through the tight turn, as you'll see, but again it's it's pretty easy. Done. I mean, I'll He's confess, like me. you shut sometimes it, it happens in the morning again. when we're trying to pull them out of those garages and it's just, you know, wake up all that, oh, geez, I'm holding 400 pounds. Or the All right, we passed. Passed the class over there. I am in the parking lot. I'm ready to go. So, uh... I passed, of course. Got 94%. God damn, this bike feels so different compared to what I'm on.